Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Trinity Stitch, which is a very pretty, very simple stitch and it is one of uh, your star stitches and it's worked in clusters of uh, single crochet three together stitches. Uh, it's very quick to work up once you get the hang of it and it creates this very pretty design when you're finished. So grab a hook and some yarn and let's learn how to crochet the Trinity Stitch. Thank you so much for joining me. Once again, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, it's updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials such as the one that you're going to see here today for the Trinity Stitch. For this stitch, you are going to start by making a foundation chain. So start with your slip knot. And you're going to make a foundation chain of any even number of stitches. So multiples of two. I'm going to, for the swatch today, I'm going to chain 20. There's 10. Once you have your uh, even number of stitches, you're going to start with your row one. For row one, you are going to begin by placing one single crochet in the second chain from hook. So count in from your hook. There's one, there's two. Work your first single crochet stitch. Then in the next, um, uh, next, you are going to work a single crochet three together. And you're going to work that stitch by starting it in the chain of the stitch that you just worked. So for your single crochet three together, you're going to start by inserting your hook in the same chain as the stitch just worked. And you're going to draw a yarn over and drop a loop. Okay, you're going to do that twice more once in the next chain insert your hook yarn over and drop a loop you'll have three loops and then once again in the next chain so in the next chain insert your hook yarn over and drop a loop you're going to have four loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops that's your single crochet three together you're then going to chain one and work another single crochet three together beginning in that same chain as the third leg of your last stitch. So once again, in the first chain there, in the, the last uh, leg of your previous stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. And then you're going to do that two more times in each of the next two chains. So in the next chain, insert your hook, yarn over and drop a loop and then again in the next chain. Once you have four loops on your hook, you'll yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. You're then going to simply repeat that all the way to the last chain. Okay, so chain one, single crochet three together beginning in the same chain as the last leg of the previous stitch then pull up loops in each of the next two chains with four loops on your hook yarn over pull through chain one and repeat so work those single crochet three stitches all the way across and then meet me back here when you get to your final chain stitch Okay, so when you come to your final trinity stitch, you'll work your final trinity stitch, you'll yarn over, you'll pull through all four loops on your hook, and then you're going to, instead of chaining one, this is at the very end of your row, you're going to work one single crochet stitch in that same stitch as your final leg, just like so. You're then going to turn one, uh, chain one and turn your work. 
We're now going to work those Trinity stitches all the way back. We're going to start by working a single crochet in our first stitch. And then work your Trinity stitch with your first leg in the same stitch as your single crochet. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, there's your first leg. Your second leg is in the top of the next Trinity stitch. And then your third leg is into that chain one. That's your third leg. So once you have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four, chain one. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. So a, chain, a single crochet three together, beginning in the, fir, uh, the same chain as your last, uh, same stitch as your last leg. So insert your hook, yarn over and drop a loop. Then in the top of the next star stitch, drop a loop. And then in your chain one, draw up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all four loops and chain one stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across just as you did uh, for the row there down below. When you come to your final stitch, you're going to work that single crochet stitch in the same stitch as your final leg of the star stitch. And then for the rest of this pattern, you are simply going to repeat that row two over and over for as long as you would like and that's all there is to the trinity stitch take a moment to uh, write in the comments of this video if you'd like where you would love to or where you have seen the trinity stitch worked i would love to know and while you're here please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel Again, it is updated weekly, and I am so happy that uh, you have joined me. So until next time, <laughs> I was just going to complete this stitch. Until next time, happy crocheting. See you later. Mm -hmm.